hello friends welcome back to my channel uh, beginner to expert uh, this is part 4 and continuation of angular project overview so today i will uh, explain uh, in deep style.scss and polyfill.ts uh, style.scss here uh, you can uh, see the comment is uh, there you can add global styles to this file and also import other style files yeah so that is true so we can uh, add some css those css will be applicable throughout the application and we can create a custom styles files so that we can import it as well so now i'm going to create one custom uh, style file uh, style sheet and which i will import it here now inside assets so i will create one folder that is css and inside that i will create suppose app dot scss so this or you can name it common scss okay suppose i have written uh, one uh, styles uh, on body suppose background color would be like black okay so i want this style sheet to be affected uh, in the body level so i will import it import then assets slash css slash common scss file so now i will run the project uh, okay inside projects folder i have one more uh, folder that folder contains my angular project angular 7 project so that folder name is basic 7 so i will change my directory cd basic 7 now I will run ng serve. So by using ng serve, we can run the project from local by using webpack server. So it will run and it will be live on port number 4200. So here it will show. okay now project is running on the port port localhost colon 4200 now i will open my project okay now my project is running on the localhost uh, 4200 now you can check the background uh, body background color uh, is uh, applied that is uh, black so now my css uh, is working so in this way uh, we can create so many I means as we want uh, the custom uh, css uh, css file and we can uh, import those files into a uh, style.scss because this uh, styles.scss uh, would be the main root styles files when we uh, run the application or we build the application then angular will fetch only style.scss file and what are the uh, files is uh, referenced to this file those files will be compiled okay now <clears throat> now i think uh, you guys uh, got to know uh, what is the main functionality of the style.scss now i will talk about the polyfill.ts file so uh, earlier uh, video also i discussed about the polyfill dot ts file in uh, in some overview now i am going to in depth so here uh, you can uh, check the comments 
uh, some comments is here so one of the comment is browser polyfills so actually uh, now uh, javascript es6 standard came so es6 uh, as i uh, discussed es6 means ecma script uh, 6 standardization so in this standardization some uh, extra functionality uh, came uh, those functionality like parse int means we can convert uh, one string to an integer or float or <coughs> number so those kind of things it came like uh, array extra methods uh, is there and like uh, filter uh, find and map we can or reduce those kind of uh, method actually came in uh, es6 standard uh, with the array and like extra date functionality string type math and set like so many uh, extra uh, method uh, or function uh, actually uh, came in to the es6 standardization so as it is the new uh, features so this uh, kind of uh, things won't support by i10 or i9 but i11 okay so for that one only angular team has developed similar kind of fashion code that would be uh, supportable by lower version uh, i so for that one only they have written and if we want to uh, run the application in i then we have to uh, uncomment uh, this polyfills uh, to support it in the lower version of browser so and also uh, another line is there that is 44 45 uh, number line you can uh, check in your polyfill.ts file or uh, ts file also so here it is written so i10 or i11 requires the following for ng class support on svg element so it is actually uh, trying to say that uh, if we are using any graph related uh, things in a page uh, then graph means suppose uh, we are showing a graph where uh, employee uh, performance is showing okay so those kind of graphs if we are using in an application then we have to uncomment this uh, import class list js file because in this js file only uh, angular team has written some browser specific code related to the svg element okay yeah that's all uh, for the day still if you have any queries leave a message in the comment section below thanks for listening have a great day